I am heartbroken. And that's because my favorite browser is officially unusable. If you've been watching this channel for any period of time, you know that Arc is my go-to browser. I love it so much that in my in the description of every video, well, not this video anymore, I have a URL for people to download Arc. Now, if you don't know, the browser company is the company behind Arc. And basically, they said that Arc wasn't going to make them any money. Um, Arc isn't the future. Um, they need to go more AI focused. Uh, the founder said his auntie wasn't using the browser because it was too complicated for her. So they basically said no more updates. We'll keep maintaining it. But here's the sad part. It's actually unusable. For example, I'm going to go to twitch.tv and I'm just going to go, oh, look at that space over there. Let me just click on maybe Unreal Engine. Let's watch their stream. Look, nobody starts out as a pro gamer. Or look at this. I can't even see the person. Like there are certain sites that are completely unusable. If I go to Tempo Labs, right? Great product. And then I log in my account. Look at this. And this isn't Tempo's fault or Twitch's fault. This is Arc, right? I can also give you another example. Let's say I wanted to lose my life savings on meme coins. I can't even do that in peace. Look at this chart. I can't I can't even look at the market cap or anything like that. I would have to like sort of zoom in. And this is just unacceptable, right? And I even posted a tweet on my Twitter uh, or on my X account where they usually do these updates and with these updates they have like these releases, uh, like these article releases. I couldn't even scroll on the article. Look at that. Like it it's it's completely I don't want to exaggerate, but Arc is officially broken and it's dead. And I don't feel comfortable using this anymore, investing any time anymore. Um, and it's heartbreaking because this product was actually so good. Like if you see my screen, I have four tabs. This is my ideas tab. This is my learnings tab. This is for my church. Uh, I serve in my church and this is for my job, for my work, right? So I have everything organized. I have my tabs. I have my pin tabs. I just love how the browser looks. The fact that I can get a full view, like, um, you know, there, there's just so much, there was so much beauty and art to arc and it's heartbreaking to say that it's, it's done. I, I don't think, um, unless the team wants to change something up and surprise us, I don't think I will ever use Arc again. So I'm slowly mig migrating, and now I'm using Zen Browser. And Zen Browser, I'm not gonna lie, you know, it required a little bit of configuration, but I kind of like what I have. And so far, the team seems to, you know, be focused on this product. Hopefully, they don't change their mind. Uh, but I've been liking it so far. I like the customizations. Um, you can. Um, like customize the toolbar, you can set up whatever, like, you know, how you want your tool toolbar to look, you can add, like, for example, being able to add a sidebar there, which is pretty cool, pretty nice. And then I can click done here. Um, they also there's uh, settings. And in the settings, I can sort of customize the look and feel if I want single toolbar or multiple toolbars, or I want it collapsed. I like that. I like having those options. Uh, you know, I can hide the tab bar, I can change the themes. So, so far I've been enjoying uh, my migration to um, Zen, Zen browser. So you can check them out again, uh, you know, who knows, but so far it's so good. There are also some people who are recommending like, why don't you just use Chrome or whatever, or like just, just Edge or like these common browsers. And the thing is, I spend a lot of time on my computer. I spend a lot of time on my on a browser, right? And I'm sure you do too if you're watching this video. I need to feel something. It needs to feel nice. It needs to look nice. Like I want to be motivated at what I'm looking at. Like when I look at like the sidebar and all these tabs, like in the way it looks and it feels, it, it just like I enjoy that. That matters to me, right? I can't be working on no clunky Chrome or Edge, you know, I apologize if that's your browser of choice. And Brave is cool, but Brave kind of looks ugly. Um, and so does Opera GX, right? Like, Opera is kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie, it just feels a little too gamey for me, right? So, uh, I, I gotta feel my browser, it has to feel cool, it has to feel clean, um, like, you know, there has to, like, be a vibe to it that I can't explain that Arc has captured so well, but it's unfortunately unusable completely, so. Zen is where we're at. I guess I made this video just to share that Arc is dead and Arc team, if you're watching this, please bring this back. I missed this. This was beautiful. This was perfect. 
Um, and I understand there's a business side to things, but I don't know. I think a lot of developers, a lot of people loved this browser. I even have non-developer friends who enjoyed this browser, but it's no longer on the recommend list. It's going to be removed from the description. I just wanted to share this unfortunate story, but I'm using Zen now. I'm kind of liking it and hopefully Zen keeps shipping. If the Zen team is watching this, I do have some suggestions if you want to hear them, but so far, so good. I just wanted to share and record this video. Very heartbroken. I'm going to miss Ark, but we move and we learn. On to the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.